Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Reading ideas. Now, this might be a bit controversial. It makes some people's top 10. But Catcher in the Rye is a big fat no. Ugh. Here we go. Chapter 1. If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me and all that Do David Copperfield kind of crap. But I don't feel like going into it. In the first place, that stuff bores me. And in the second place, my parents would have two hemorrhages apiece if I told anything personal about them. They're quite touchy about anything like that, especially my father. They're nice and all. I'm not saying that, but they're also touchy as hell. Besides, I'm not going to tell you my whole goddamn autobiography or anything. I'll just tell you about this madman stuff that happened to me around last Christmas before I got pretty run down and had to come out here and take it easy. Couldn't finish it. The catcher in the rye. You hear about it. Oh, the catcher in the rye. No, whiny, horrible, just not a, not a nice person. No, no. Here, here we go. When I came out of the record store, I passed this drugstore and I went in. I figured maybe I'd give old, J old Jane a buzz and see if she was home for vacation yet. So I went in a phone booth and called her up. The only trouble was her mother answered the phone, so I hung up. I didn't feel like getting involved in a long conversation and all with her. I'm not crazy about talking to girls' mothers on the phone anyway. I should have at least asked her if Jane was home. Yet yeah, though, it wouldn't have killed me, but I didn't feel like it. You really have to be in the mood for all that stuff. I have to be in the mood for this. No, never in the mood for it. I still had to get those goddamn theatre tickets. So I bought a paper and I looked up to see what shows were playing. On account of it was Sunday. There were only about three shows playing. So what I did was I went over and I bought two. Oh, it's just that voice in my head. It's like a noisy eater at the dinner table. Shut up. Shut up. It boring, whiny, negative, self-important. Oh, horrible. What are you going to do? Something so very, very painful, so hideous. Your father will have no choice but to cooperate. No. <laughs> you take Sir Laurence Olivier, for example. I saw him in Hamlet. D DB took Phoebe, and I see to it last year. He treated us to lunch first, and then he took us. He'd already seen it, and the way he talked about it at lunch. I was anxious as hell to see it too, but I didn't enjoy it much. I just don't see what's so marvellous about Sir Laurence Olivier, that's all. He has a terrific voice, and he's a hell of a handsome guy, and he's very nice to watch when he's walking or dueling or something. But he wasn't all the way DB said Hamlet was. He was too much like a goddamn general, instead of a sad, screwed up type guy. Oh my god. Oh, and, oh yeah, you need, you know. Oh, I rung up this girl, you know, expecting her to put out there and then. And, uh, oh, it's, it's horrible. The catcher in the rye? No. No. And what's even worse, I mean, look, look at this book haul. Raise high the roof beam carpenters, Seymour, an introduction. No, thank you. For Esme with love and squalor. How appealing. And other stories. Franny and Zoe. The great American novel, no, not for me, for you, 
you know, each to our own, that's great. No, couldn't finish it. Horrible. Uh, probably the second worst book I've ever read. The first, and I didn't finish this, the first worst one. I don't remember the name of it. It was given to me by, by my brother-in-law. And it was a Stephen King, I think. Um, I think it was a Stephen King. And it was about uh, the concentration camps. And he was, this person was somebody in the concentration camps. And he was a horrible person. And he was a cannibal. And, it, you know, and he, you know, as he put the bodies in, he slipped a bit of skin off. And, you know, and, but he had to be, oh, it was absolutely the most disgusting book. I finished that and I regretted it. I can't remember the name of it and I do not want to know the name of it. So there you go. There you go. The Catcher in the Rye. Big fat no from me. Each to their own. Just one final word. I will admit that this book has a strong voice throughout but it's the worst for it. It's a horrible voice. <laughs>